Welcome to Electro Online. There are many similarities between Earth and Mars when it comes to its geology, but then there are also some very noteworthy differences. So let's take a look at some of those differences. For one thing, the core, although it consists primarily out of iron and nickel, also contains a lot of sulfur, which is very different from what we find on the Earth. So the density on Mars is somewhat different from what we expect based on the size of the core, the size of the crust, and the ratio between those two would indicate a different density than Mars does have. It's about 3.9 grams per cubic centimeter. And theoretically, we believe it's because there's a significant amount of sulfur in the core as well, which would make the core larger, but without the extreme density associated with other metals. Also, what's unusual is that the surface rocks formations consist primarily of igneous rocks. Now, notice we have three uh, three different kinds of rocks. We have igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. And on the Earth, we find all three of them in relative abundance. But on Mars, most of the rocks found are igneous type. In other words, they had volcanic origin. And what we believe is that in the earlier history of Mars, there was a lot of volcanic activity, and much of the lava flows covered the northern half of the planet, so wherever the landers land, they do find a lot of rocks associated with an igneous origin. Not so much sedimentary, although there is some sedimentary rocks indicating uh, that liquid water existed on the surface before, and we do find some metamorphic rock, but not in the same abundance as we do on the Earth, so those are some major differences. Now, the surface rocks consist primarily, when we talk about the loose rocks they find on the surface, they consist primarily of what we call pyrogenetic materials. And what that means is that they were formed, again, with uh, uh, lava, with a lot of heat associated, lava kind of uh, sources. But these minerals that are formed within those rocks are crystallized completely or almost completely of anhydrous magma. In other words, there wasn't a lot of water present when these rocks were formed. And of course, that is to be uh, considered normal for Mars because water is relatively scarce on the surface of Mars. So when these processes were taking place, there was already a big lack of water compared to what we might have found in the very beginning of the existence of Mars. So a lot of the rock formation that have happened over the last so many billions of years have formed primarily with the absence of water in igneous kind of conditions, in lava, magma, hot kind of conditions uh, that we would see on Mars for quite a long, long time after the water disappeared. So we have, we do find a lot of silicates, just like on the Earth, which contain, of course, silicon and, and oxygen, the, the primary constituent of sand and rock. And the minerals we find in abundance are olivine and pyroxene. Olivine is primarily made from magnesium iron silicates. And of course, there's a lot of magnesium and iron on the surface of Mars, so it would make sense that we would find a lot of olivine. And pyroxene, pyroxene is a silicate mineral that consists mostly of calcium, magnesium, and iron again. Iron, magnesium, silicates, and calcium, magnesium, iron, silicates are in a lot of abundance on Mars, which is unusual. We don't find as many of those on the Earth, so that is unusual about Mars as well. Again, these rocks are formed under high temperature and pressure conditions, igneous and metamorphic type rocks, but primarily igneous rocks. We do also find aluminum silica. Uh, and that is uh, what we call feldspar minerals, which are a combination of sodium, calcium, and aluminum. So those are the primary silicates that we find on the surface. So silicates, igneous rocks, not too much metamorphic and not too much uh, sedimentary rocks on the surface. So those are the major differences between what we find geologically on Mars and what we find on the Earth. 